Hello guys, um, I'm back. I just thought I would give an update of how my health is doing. This is Michael DeFiori. I live in upstate New York in a town called um, Spencerport, which is just outside of Rochester, New York. Um, and I just wanted to know if you guys had any questions for me. Um, I would greatly appreciate um, if one of you can please post some questions that you want me to answer. Um, that, that would be great um, to hear from you guys. Um, I have told you in the past, I, I, I do suffer from a rare bone disease called osteogenesis imperfecta. Um, my campaign that I am running um, on GoFundMe is not only to support myself, but also to support my family, as well as to support the OI uh, Foundation. Um, I plan on making a donation of a portion of my um, money that I obtain um, to the OI Foundation because I feel that there needs to be more research done um, with people that have a, a osteogenesis imperfecta as well as I would like to donate a portion of the proceeds to um, Ellis danlos sy Syndrome. Um, but I do know with OI that um, people do do go deaf eventually. It can happen. Um, I suffer on a daily basis with chronic pain. Um, I s suffer from what's called tinnitus, which is ringing in the ears. It comes and it goes, but it's every single day. Um, and back then I was always curious of what that was. Um, because I would hear the ringing in my ears and it was like a, a, a faint, like almost where, where you couldn't hear it in the beginning, like when it first started out. Um, but now it's becoming worse. So I talked to my doctor about it and he said that typically with people with OI um, will become deaf, unfortunately. Um, there's a high risk of that coming um and with you experiencing the tinnitus um it, it is concerning it should be monitored um i told you my last video i believe um that i do have what's called um in uh left atrium septal aneurysm a mildly enlarged aorta root um Let's see, I have a left atrial appendage, which is all in the up, upper left um, chamber of my heart. And then in the membrane that separates the two top chambers. Um, so when a baby is born, um, that is all forming. So it's open. Um, and what happens during the first year of life of the baby is it's supposed to close by the time the baby reaches one. Um, now there have been instances where I've heard people say uh, online that are doctors six months to a year. Um, but uh, so with my case, I have what's called uh, a, a PFO, it's called um bidirectional which means from right to left the blood is flowing into both chambers it's called a regurgitation which means that it's some of the blood is spilling into the other chamber um so it's going right to left um now um I'm assuming that is what's causing my um, symptoms that I'm experiencing with the lightheadedness. 
the um, fluttering in my chest. Um, let's see, I get really weak, I get dizzy. Um, so I want to know, has anyone ever experienced anything like this? Please comment below. I, I encourage you to. Um, and I will try to answer all, all of your questions to the best that I can possibly. Um, I do have a learning disability. Um, and I, I was never classified as special ed. Um, see, they, they classified me as other health impaired. Uh, growing up, I had trouble focusing in school um, and concentrating a, a little bit, I would say. Not real bad, but a little bit. Um, and eventually, by the age of uh, 29, I was diagnosed with EDD, the in inattentive type. Um, and um, I am on medication for that. Um, I have been through, so far, two bone density scans. The first bone density scan showed a uh, Z-score. So anyone that's under the age of 30, um, when they get a bone density scan, also known as a DEXA scan, um, they use Z instead of T score. T is in Tom and Z is in zebra. Okay, so because I was under 30 years old when I got diagnosed with advanced stage osteoporosis, now this is prior to me getting testing with my genes um, through in, in vitae. Um, I encourage everyone uh, to ask, ask their doctor if they can order a kit for you because it, it is coverable under insurance plans. Um, it could tell you a lot of things. It could tell you about um, if you were to have a child, um, how high of a risk is it? Uh, is the baby going to be born with any defects or cancers? God forbid. Um, I would pray and hope not. But it gives a lot of answers. Um, with me, I was uh, told that it would be not in my best interest to father my own child, but to adopt. And that is because of my, my bone disease. Um, what they are worried about with me is that if I have a baby with someone, um, that the baby could come out worse than than my, I am um, with all my conditions. Um, I told you guys about my brain, how it's shrinking. It doesn't match up with my age, but clearly I, I, I can talk. Um, I can understand. It's just when it comes to certain things, I, I do notice a difference. Um, I get brain fog a lot. That is a new a new symptom that I'm experiencing the past couple weeks. Um, it's where basically how I explain it is where you're where you are thinking about something and then you forget it a second later. So I could literally be be talking to someone like, for example, my mother, and it will be on my mind and I'll just forget. And it will not c come back at all. Um, not even with with hints. Um, and um, so I am a little bit concerned about that. I did c call my neurologist. I did inform them about the brain fog that's been going on. And I did get emotional during that call to my neurologist. Now, I did end up seeing palliative care. Um, and... She suggested with everything that's going on in my life that I do need to get into therapy because I do have mental illness as well. Um, I'm bipolar type 2. I have PTSD from past child abuse from my cousin on my father's side. Um, and I also have severe anxiety and depression. And... The depression right now is stable, and the anxiety is stable, um, but not the bipolar, I would say. 
um, that needs to be looked at more. Um, because all they have me on is Cymbalta and up and an anti-anxiety me medicine called uh, Aprazolam. Um, I mostly use it at bedtime because it, it is sedating on top of the pain medications that I take. Um, so I just want to know, um, anyone in your family, you know, have you guys ever experienced what I have said in my previous videos? Like pins and needles in your extremities, um, feet, arms, hands, legs, um, back, um, the, the neck, like on, on the sides here, mostly it will happen. It never happens like in the front or the back. It only happens on the sides of my neck. Um, so yeah, um, I do get a lot of stress headaches, so please let me know if you guys experience any of that. Um, you know, I do have a, a worry that because I have received five of the Pfizer vaccines for COVID, that it interrupted something. See, I was misdiagnosed back then. Um, and they thought I was um, seeking drugs and I wasn't. Um, I was actually um, in a lot of pain growing up as a child and I never knew why. It started um, relatively late in my childhood, I would say around 12, but then it progressively got worse when I was, um, how old was I? 17, almost 18, when it first started getting worse. Um, and actually that, that same year, um, I broke, I broke my back, um, and they never advised me of it. And I actually just learned about it this year, um, which was surprising that the radiologist, um, and, and including the, the medical doctor at the time that I was seeing at the emergency department never informed me of a, a compression fracture in my lumbar spine. So I believe that instead of 2017 it starting, it started actually in 2011 when I was um, nine, uh, about 19. Because um, I was born in June of 92. Um, so uh, it, that would make me, yeah, about 19 because it happened in March of that year and my birthday's in June. Um, another question I have for you guys is, is there any doctors that would be willing to speak with me on my YouTube channel? Um, or anyone that specializes with um, the diseases that I've mentioned, which are um, Ellis danlos syndrome, the va the vascular type, as well as osteoarthritis imperfecta. I do want to be um, an advocate for people that have this disease. Um, it is a, a crippling disease, so I am less mobile as I age. Um, I have been less mobile for the past, I want to say, th three years now, going on. Um, again, I don't know if the Pfizer vaccine made me this way or if it's just my genetic mutation problems going on, um, as well as top of the heart problems. Um, I'm really concerned about that. I am a believer of God. I do pray to him every night before I go to sleep and, and during the day as well. Um, I am an SSI currently, um, and I get, receive Medicaid through M MVP. Um, now SSI doesn't pay enough, um, which is kind of scary because if I lose my parents and because right now I'm living with my parents, um, so like, um, but my parents are separated. Um, so I live, you know, part of the time with, with my mother and then I'll go visit my dad for a couple of days in his place. Um, 
but uh yeah um i just want to know um anyone out there please i want to make a community um i want to build a friendship with you guys um and i just want to learn more about people who suffer with rare diseases and that can include cancer too um doctors are do not know right now they are suspicious because i did have a weight decrease um back um i did have a cancer scare i want to say it was um, 2014 and 2015 uh as well as 2018 so um i believe i talked about this in my previous video but um they found a, a nodule in my lung and then they found that my thymus gland which produces t-cells to fight up infection in a person's body um was growing big when it should have not been growing if, if anything it should have been doing the opposite shrinking uh i do know with babies uh it, it is big but when you reach ad adulthood it's supposed to shrink down to, to almost nothing but you ne you need your your thymus gland because it does play an important role in a person's immune system which is why it takes me longer to heal after surgery. It takes me longer to, to get better if I get sick, whether that's with a, a cold or the flu. Um, so far, I've never gotten COVID, as far as I know. Um, have you guys uh, ever like wondered um, about this Pfizer vaccine or Moderma or Johnson & Johnson. Have you guys had any side effects from it that I'm describing? Please let me know. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to speaking to you guys again. And I hope you guys enjoy yourself. Um, have a good night. Take care.